What's happening, Runehammer Clan? Hawk Runehammer here. And today we're going to be bringing you Banner Saga. And um, it looks like an interesting game. I just downloaded it and I wanted to play it with you guys. I've heard of this game before and everybody that I've ever heard talk about this game recommend, yeah, play this game. And so um, we're going to do that today. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, there's a heraldry tab. Let's see. Uh, wow, there's a lot of interesting uh, things. That looks like... That kind of looks like the Attack on Titan uh, emblem there. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's some really cool stuff. I'm not going to go through all of these, though. I'm just going to find one that looks cool. And I'm going to go with it. Let's see. Um, what stands out to me? Something that looks menacing. Uh... Let's see, let's run through some of these. What is this? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know what this guy is or what he's from, but that's definitely not going to be my banner. Um, it's funny though. It really is. Um, let's see. Oh, kitty cat. Oh, look at the kitty cat. It's like Garfield. Like a Viking Garfield. Um... Wolf. I like I like wolves. But we're not gonna do that one. We're gonna find something different. It's a cat with a I don't know what. There's some funny stuff in here though. Um let's see. Let's take a look. A look see, shall we? What is that? It's an eye. It's an eyeball. Uh, Viking power. Uh, an owl. Hooty hoo. Um, let's just find one. Let's just find one, guys. Find something that looks cool, and we'll run with it. Okay, that's a cooler looking wolf. I like that. I like that. Um, let's do this one. Nice, uh, nice plain banner, but it's like, I don't know, something sort of, uh, intimidating about it. So, uh, let's do that. Let's hit new game. The story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between lead characters, witnessing the story unfold from different perspectives. Cool. <clears throat> I'm going to read this. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance. Driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Holy crap, guys. The sun has stopped. Stoic gaming. Alright, let's watch this cutscene. see what they have to say. Það sjá dreggjana á ferli meðar vor. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. Interesting. 
I like this already. Nice. Yeah, we're uh, gigantic. What he said. I do like this game. Let's do this. I heard that this was, ah, it's turn-based. You've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking for a tougher fight than they bargained for. Uh, looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. All right, uh, all right, cool. We got this guy selected. And we're gonna move him up here. Right here. To target an enemy. Right, that's what we'll do. Oh, we can easily take this guy out. Oh, come on. Yeah, let me. Uh, da, da, da. Only has five strength remaining. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, oh yeah. And he's down for the count. Owie. Trade it blows here. Warhawk's turn. And we will use that. Some willpower here. And a special ability. Tempest. Sweet. Let's target this guy. On the left. Damn. Nice. Looks like the chief did some trouble. I would say so. All right, we're gonna do this and use willpower to take him out. And that's how you clean up shop, folks. I like this game already. Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppler King's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Double the tithe, huh? Sun. Only the sun has stopped. All right. Let's. Uh... You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the great hall. He cuts to the chase. Eric, steward of Strand. I manage the governor's business. Uben, is it? It is. The governor tells me you, you'll be giving us a hand. Seems a bit chaotic around here, Eric. It's been worse. You've got a lot of irons at the fire. 
What does he want exactly? Scalfings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall, scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. All right, let's go. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap in a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Hod, I'm not in the mood today. For? For what? Talking to an idiot. The scalfing's chieftain bled out about an hour ago, Hod. So when you tell me what a rat's anus the rest of them crawled out back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. <laughs> rat's anus. I like it. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me! Eric. Need some help here. Hod. I had a change of heart. I hope you do give us a hard time. Hot sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Just... Wait, just... Buy one of these if, if everyone thinks I'm getting worked over every week. How am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Motion to Goodolf. Your enormous bodyguard who looms over the man like a snake over a mouse. Goats! Eric laying out a bit heavy, don't you think? Where are the scale things? Nobleman, up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Odd skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hobble, disappearing for a while, until he until he blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? Gunnolf. Are you wearing green back at the Great Hall? Nope. Just bought it while you were walking around. Why? <laughs> you look like a frog. Better than an eggplant. <laughs> I love his response. Better than an eggplant. <laughs> Gunolf goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seems unreliable at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust hard, but he used to be a scalfing. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Best I can tell, the name's ironic. Listen. I know a guy who would love to put a few of those skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Where is this place again? Noble is halfway up the hill, towards the Great Hall. You won't miss it. Just make sure Governor remembers his promise. Oh, whoops, wrong voice. Just make sure the Governor remembers his promise. Double the usual tithe. <laughs> Trying to do voices here. Uh, I'll remind him. <laughs> Trying to make it entertaining, guys. I know it's a lot of, a lot of uh, talking. You arrive in front of what must be noble. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man and introduces Valgard. I'll point them out, Eric says over his shoulder. Ready? Let's get it over with. That's the spirit, Valgard says. Okay. Here we go. Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of a table, his axe drawn, wide and eyed. Drunken scalfings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead steins in the process. Alright, battle number two. Let's see. I'm going to do this. We've got... 
this guy here. I think he should go there. This guy's got that special attack. He's gonna go right here. Put you here. You go right here. I'm gonna pull our pull our resources together. And uh Ubin's just like sitting here chilling back at the door like, yeah. You guys can handle this. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh, ready. I was hoping for more of a fight than this. <laughs> Look at him, it's gonna be butchery. The stone wall do, I wonder. Let's move down. Let's move down here. Let's only move one. I like to let them come to me. See, he's just gonna move that way. Alright, you are gonna go this way. Ow! Owie. Well, that's not very nice. What? Just for that, you're gonna get crushed. Um, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. this guy and finish him off? That'd be a waste. Attack this guy. Can I attack him? No. Oh well. In turn. Here we go. Now I can finish this guy off. very very strong In turn now it's not very nice at all I'm gonna go send you over here to intercept these two Line him up. Line him up for me. Line him up for me. We're gonna use Tempest on all these motherfuckers. To the middle one. <laughs> Dang, son. Ow. 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 That's not cool. Finish this guy off. Come right here. Attack this guy. What? Why do you only have two? Well, that's stupid. Um. So we'll break you down a little bit. Oh, we're gonna be able to finish you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Getting getting tag teamed here. That's not okay. Attack you. No, come on, come on. Come on. Can I not attack this guy? There we go. Oh man. Ah! I don't like that. I don't like that they're ganging up on my guy. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Move it here. Attack this fatherless dog. With everything we got. Are you, my friend. 
Like really a tempest. That's your target. What? No. Owie. This guy seems pretty dangerous. So we'll finish him off. Got him. Ah, dang. He's almost gone. Bash his freaking brains in. No! Alright, this is not good. Alright, Tempest again. Come on. What? <laughs> oh man, I lost a guy. That's not cool. It's not cool. But why did I do that? Oh, I don't like that guy. He got some pretty vicious attacks here. Mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. That's for Gunnar. It's not cool, man. I already lost a guy. Well, I guess that's what it gets for calling me an eggplant. There he got promoted. Well, he got promoted, but he's dead. He got killed. Maybe he's just out of the fight. I don't know. There they are. Gods be damned. Got to go wash off this blood. Aaron looks, looking out the hall window, windows onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of blood reds and blues. Of bold reds and blues, my bad. Can't read today. One better I know well. Falkneer. Next to the Varl kingship last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yeah. Important guests. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, that makes things a, that makes a little more sense. You'd hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me. The governor. Now I have to make sure there's no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down at the docks. <laughs> Makes me think of Han Solo in Star Wars. He's just like, eh, for the mess. When he kills Greedo. Kind of reminds me of that. All right. We have great morale. And lots of supplies, apparently. All right, well, let's go on down to the docks. That's a lot of ships coming in. Faulkner. The familiar Varl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version, tramping the halls of Grofheim, abundant in purpose. God, stupid. You're looking ancient comes with being old. And if there is Vognir, there must be Hakan. Must there? Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yaks. At what age does you do you lose a sense of shame? Your under demands it. I'll take things. I'll take that over lingering to death in Grofheim. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Ar Arborang. Arborang. Just returned from Arborang, in fact. And glad of it. Khan motions to the other ships in the bay, sailing sails still fluttering, golden wolf head 
emblazoned on red, the king of men, or someone on his behalf. The king's whelp. The king's son, Ludin. Don't you know, Scrivener? We visit his capital, he visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakan has it. I'd uh, almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakan. Then you're going to Grofheim. I have the distinct feeling I've finished my business in Strand and was headed there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I'd drink a week away. But, uh, let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. What he's trying to say is the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Mogur? Lacan. I haven't found a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading to meet the governor. Hosts of giants depart in his wake. You recognize a few. Others are strangers to you. Guess I'm off to find Mogur. See you in the morning, Scrivener. I'll be along. Young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Odin looks for all the world, the sort of boy who grew up pulling the legs from spiders. The long road back to Grafheim should be more interesting than most years, you think. Alright. Weariness subtly sets in, and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of your governor's men meet you at the Great Hall. Could find you a place to sleep. One of the governor's men at the Great Hall. I can't read today. On the other hand, if you're going to Vog Vognir's caravan tomorrow, it might not hurt to share a drink with a con or introduce yourself to the prince they spoke so highly of. I'll start with a con. Scrivener! You find Hakan in the mean house, surrounded by other Varls. Strand is no stranger to Varl, but rarely sees this many. Hakan waves you over. Went straight for a flagon. Fognir is the best. Oh, bleh. Fognir is the one who agreed to pass up a drink. I wasn't invited to the governor's hall anyway. You already missed the massacre. Every year I make the rounds collecting taxes. Every year. It's the human settlements that give me trouble. No surprise. What this time? When I got here, the Great Hall was already full of bodies. We added a few more. Ha! Humans. I guess if I only lived as long as any ox fart, I might be desperate to make something of myself too. It's not too late to start trying, Hakan. The Khan lets slip a low chuckle. Any Varl could recount his deeds, known as his, known as he is, for cutting a swath through Dreg at Vognir's side in the Second War, and regularly since then. Down here, I'm a, glor I'm a glorified bodyguard. You might have a point. Just another reason to get back to Grofheim. Soon enough, I imagine. You drink until the meat house becomes overbearing and step back into the cool air outside. It's definitely cool outside. Yeah, let's see the prince. Why not? Is this the right place? You find the prince at the inn. At an inn. Guards blink at the building, including a sharp-eyed Varl who must be working for Luden. A woman in red eventually waves you over and stands nearby, arms crossed. Greetings, Prince Ludin. Yes, you were Vognir. I don't remember you. Not exactly. I've known Vognir a long time. I'll be joining you back at Grofheim with my guards. Ludin looks up for the first time. The woman doesn't react. Why? I work for the king, carrying ties to the capital. We crossed by chance. Oh. Tax collector. Fine company. What do you want? Just to introduce myself. You, tax you collect taxes from the Varl's territories? A true pleasure. Yes. Awkwardness hangs in the air like a thick fog. 
you take the opportunity to depart. All right. Well, before we go uh, start the next leg of our journey, guys, I think I'm going to cut it right there. Um, next thing to do is go to sleep, I guess, for the next day. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Should I continue to do this game uh, as far as a Let's Play goes? Should I make this a series? Are you, is this entertaining to you? I know there's a lot of commentary and a lot of words. I try to make it interesting by adding voices and sort of acting parts out a little bit. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Should I do more in this series? Should I uh, move on to a different game and maybe not pick this back up? I'm definitely going to continue playing this myself because it's definitely an interesting game. But um, I'm really excited to see like, where this goes, how it unfolds, all the different characters, how they interplay. There's a lot of interesting banter going on um and it is turn-based i know it's not the most exciting thing but i like i said i try to make it as entertaining as i can let me know what you think and until next time guys i'm hawk Rudenhammer signing out peace